What up everybody, it's iPad Beatmaking here today. As you all know, Logic for iPad has officially been released, but it's got a couple of omissions that I find a little weird. I'm sure you do too if you are like a seasoned desktop Logic Pro user. One of those things being that it's not uh, exposing its file system, right? So you can't easily add your drum machine designer kits easily add your ESX 24 kits and that's a bit discouraging but I have found a workaround in order to get it done bring those things over from desktop to iPad and I will show you how I do that now all right so as you can see here we've got the piano that we made in another video for info on how we made this piano from an audio unit instrument be sure to check out this video here which will walk you through how we sampled it with the auto sampler. But anyways, we've got the piano that we made here and we've got all these layers. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six velocity layers. And I think this was sampled at every three semitones or something like that. So it's a pretty dense little piano. Anyways, you can do this with any of your virtual instruments. Once we've got our EXS files built, what we will do is make sure that we've got them open in the session here. And then we will go to file and we will go to project management and we'll go to consolidate. And this will give us the option to consolidate our files. We'll go okay. And basically what this does is make sure that all of these samples are present in the project. And then from there, we will go ahead and hit share and we will airdrop the project. All right, now on the iPad, we've got our project right here. So we'll go ahead and open it. And as you can see, we've got our piano that we auto sampled and was in sampler right here. Now, when we try to see a larger view of this, it says this plugin provides playback compatibility with Logic Pro for Mac projects. You can load presets for this plugin but parameter editing is only available when using Logic Pro for Mac. So there are some limitations in terms of the editability of it, but it does in fact play. If you want to save this piano to always be usable in your future projects without having to go through this process again, so that it'll just be saved on your iPad, just click the symbol here, go save patch, go okay, and it will now be in your my instrument patches folder and it'll be right here under piano one and we can just keep on dragging that into different projects so that is how you get your exs files that you have on mac or that you've auto sampled on logic into the ipad for use with projects going forward now if you are a fan of drum machine designer on logic for mac you've probably built yourself some pretty nice kits and if you're unsure about how to build kits, be sure to check out the video that I linked earlier here, where we show you how to build out some of the drum machine designer kits on Logic for Mac. Now, obviously you could build all these up on iPad as well, just by dragging and dropping one file at a time. I recommend using Sample Crate for that process. It can be a little tedious, but Sample Crate is probably the best solution to handle this on iPad. But anyways, if you've been using it on Mac for quite some time, you've probably got your own kits built up, like I said, and you probably wanna bring those over to Logic for iPad. Unfortunately, again, there's no easy way to do this that's not sort of tedious due to the file system not being accessible. Hopefully that changes in a future update. I recommend like sending Apple an email or something to let them know you want access to the file system so this isn't so tedious. But anyways, let's get to it. All right, so we've got some kits that we've made in Kit Maker here. All right, so we're gonna go with the Concrete Sun Kit here, and we're gonna go select this one, create another Drum Machine Designer Kit here, and what I do to make this faster is I just do a duplicate track, which I recommend you do as well. And so yeah, once you do the duplicate track, You just select the next one as you go down, select the next one. All 
All right, so as you can see, we've got quite a few kits that we built here. And what I'm going to do is same thing that we did before. And that's first of all, consolidate uh, the project. Make sure it's gonna copy all of our audio files, sampler audio data, all that kind of stuff. Make sure it's gonna copy it, hit okay. And finally, we are going to save the project and then we're going to share the project. We're gonna airdrop it and we've got it sent over. Let's just make sure that what we see is what we wanna see first of all. Yep, we've got all of our pads right here. So we are good to go. And what we're gonna do is what we did before, but what I wanna do is make sure um, that I, for file keeping purposes, I have concrete sun as a prefix at the beginning of it. And I like to just space these out a little bit right here at the tab, just to make sure that if I search, it's gonna show up. I don't know if that actually alters it, but because this is a tedious process, I just wanna make sure I do all I can do to make sure that it's visible. And what I'll do from here is I'll copy this concrete sun prefix. So you go copy here. That way I can always add this to the next one that I'm gonna save. So that's what it's gonna save it as. Now, as you can see, what this is gonna do is in the file system, it'll allow me to have everything just organized much better. I'll know what belongs to what. So like, say you do a few kits in here, I like to just have that prefix. And what I would like for Apple to do for us in the future on, you know, like a dot one or a dot two update. Let's give us access to the file system so that this whole process could be made a lot easier by just dragging and dropping these drum machine designer kits and these EXS kits because it's really tedious to go through this, especially if you own multiple iPads and I don't know of a way to get your patches across from one to the other. So for the sake of kind of file management and being able to share your kits uh, with yourself even, it would be really nice if Apple opened up the file system. All right, so as you can see, we've now got our patches saved. And what I like to do is not uh, mess with anything inside the project. I usually save this as is and another thing I like to do is just make sure I rename it So now I know what kit specifically this was and this is kind of like a master file that I'll use to always have That kit available if I need to resave anything like for other iPads or whatever I'll have to go through that same process manually. All right now that we've got this all set up let's go ahead and open up a drum machine designer kit create all right and let's go back go to my instrument patches I just want to test this out like say we were all the way back here, would it work? So as you can see right here, we've got, when we put in Concrete Sun, it finds them all and has them filtered for us. And then we can just go ahead and drag it here. And we've got our kit ready to go. We can just drag and drop whichever ones we want to use and we are all set to go ahead and play on the surface and of course you've got kind of that exploded track vibe already if you want to play any of these chromatically just like you can on logic on desktop you are good to go 
So yeah, that is how you bring over your drum machine designer kits as well as your sampler instruments and ESX24 files into Logic Pro for iPad. Hope this helps some of you out there. With all that said, I'm about to get out of here. It's iPad beat making. Peace.